Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I, um, you guys know or should know, as far as clothing and stuff like that goes, I like name brand stuff. I really do, don't get me wrong. But honestly, I like a deal. That's what I like. I like to look cute, and if I can get something cute for a good deal, then I am one happy girl. So I don't care if it's from Goodwill, I don't care where it's from. If it's cute and I like the way it looks on me, then that is just, that's my style. So anyway, I'm going to show you a couple items that I have picked up from Walmart. They, um, Sometimes Walmart's a little hit and miss. Sometimes they do a pretty good job, I think, of trying to compete with other stores like Target and places like that and bringing in some trendy stuff. And other times you can't find anything. And I have found a couple things that I think are really cute and I think you guys are gonna like them as well. So I will show you some video clips of me and how I style these particular items. Um, to maybe hopefully give you some inspiration and some ideas on how you can style them. Let you know as well, this video is not sponsored by Walmart. Although, if Walmart would like to call me up and sponsor me, I would be more than happy to go shopping at your store and show it on my YouTube channel. <laughs> Alright, so let's get on with it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is just a very basic jean jegging. I tend to really favor the jeggings um, that Walmart carries. This brand is the Time and True brand. It's called the Sculpting Jegging and the price was $17.84. Um, I have bought these before in more of like a capri length. These are the actual full ankle length. I typically will roll them up as you can see how I did that just to show off any kind of little booty that you wear with them. But I really like jegging jeans better than just like a regular jean because they have so much stretch to them. I think they're figure flattering. Um, you can wear them with your tall knee boots or you know any other type of high boot, but you can also cuff them and wear them with cute booties or wear them with sandals or whatever. I've got real expensive jeans and I've got these cheaper jeans and I just tend to favor this style better than anything, to be honest with you. So um, these are really cute. I mean, they just look like a regular jean. They have the button and the zipper closure and they have pockets. Um, I tend to favor this wash of jean. Medium blue color. It's not real, real light, but it's not the really dark. Um, I think this is just like a really good everyday look. You can dress it up or you can dress it down. Okay, so um, I had to get my 60s vibe going on and I pulled out some uh, from Walmart some tie-dye. Um, I really love this color right here. This like wine purple type of plummy color. Um, it's one of my favorite colors, especially in the fall. Even though this is a t-shirt, you could, if you live in a colder climate, you could always pair this um, with a cute little jean jacket um, or a little, you know, a little scarf or something like that. I, this is so cute though because what I really liked it, if you can see, it's got that little bit of a twist right there. So instead of having to knot the t-shirt yourself or having to half tuck it or anything like that, which is typically what I do with these t-shirts, um, this already kind of has it done for you. It's very comfortable. It's very stretchy. I got this particular t-shirt in a size large just because I wanted to make sure that it was pretty loose. Um, and let's see, the price of this, um, it was the Time and True brand again, and it, they're just calling it the Twist Knot Tee, and it was $11.94. I picked up these two shirts, and I actually picked these up to go together, so I'll show them to you one at a time. To go underneath of my flannel, I picked up this little tank top. It's really cute. It's got kind of like the crisscross in the back, um, and I've... I was drawn to this tank top in particular because of the color, more so than what it said. It says maybe later, and although I'm a lover of graphic tees and little tees that have little um, sayings and stuff on them, I'm not really particularly crazy about this saying because I feel like it just doesn't fit me at all, but <laughs> it was the color that I was drawn to. Um, so, you know, if I could ever find another one that has a cuter saying, I'll probably pick it up, but you know, whatever. Um, anyway, so I thought it looked really cute and paired really well with this really cute flannel because as you can see, this particular flannel has that mustard yellow in it. It's also got, like I said, one of my favorite plummy, if I'll get it a little close up, the plummy color as well as a navy blue. And I just love this suit so much. This was from the brand Time and True again and it was $13.94. This little tank top 
just to let you know, was once again the Time and True brand, <laughs> and it was only $5.87. So you can't beat that price for sure. Okay, another shirt that I picked up at Walmart was yet again from the Time and True brand. Obviously, I didn't realize that everything, almost everything that I picked up was that brand. Anyway, it's this really cute chambray denim button up shirt but what i love about it you guys know my love of bees and look how cute this is it has an embroidered bee on it um and on the other side it actually has an embroidered dragonfly on it that i could have left behind but the bee you guys you know that i love bees and i just thought this was so cute because it's embroidered in kind of like a cream and a yellow thread um, and so I'm probably gonna pair this. I'm probably gonna leave it unbuttoned and pair it with a cute little like cream colored um, flowy tank top and maybe some jeans and some little boots. Um, you'll see when I put it all together and you see the video clip of me in this. But I love this, I had to have it. Um, this is, it was $13.94. Um, I bought this in a size medium just because I didn't want it to look too big. I kind of go back and forth between medium and larges and tops, but I knew that I was going to be leaving this unbuttoned, so I definitely thought that a medium would be fine for me. And then I also went over to the kind of like the active wear, and I really like to get cheaper active wear. I like live in that type of stuff with like yoga pants and leggings and sweatshirts and, you know, workout clothes basically. Um, because I do, you know, I'm kind of an active person as far as constantly on the move doing something. Um, and so if I'm not going out, I, that's like the typical stuff that I will wear around the house. And um, I saw this really cute sweatshirt. Like I fell in love with this. It's just very plain, um, but I liked that it had this cute little lace up right here. It is a hooded sweatshirt. Um, the sleeves are kind of more of like a three quarter in three quarter sleeve. But what I liked about it is it kind of is a little bit longer in the back than it is in the front. I just think it's gonna look really cute. You could pair this with jeans to give yourself a little bit more of a sporty look, or you can wear it with like black um, you know, black yoga pants or black leggings. Anyway, it's really, really super, super soft. I did pick this up in a size large because if I'm going to do a sweatshirt or something like that, I definitely want it to be looser. Um, and this is the brand Avia and it was $16 and 96 cents. So moving on to shoes. First of all, I got to make a correction. I told you that the yellow tank top was $5.87. I was wrong. The yellow tank top was actually $8.88 because these cute little tennis shoes were what was $5.87. Um, you guys, I have wore these so many times already. For that price, I would probably just like to have one in like every color <laughs> that Walmart would carry. But obviously, I've told you before, I just said it in this video too, this is one of my all-time favorite colors, this like wine type of berry color. I love to wear a lipstick like this. It's just one of my favorite colors, especially in the fall. Um, anyway, I picked these up because I thought that they would look really cute with actually two of the outfits that I showed you today. The yellow and the plaid shirt you'll see that I have that on um, with the tennis shoes and as well as the tie-dye t-shirt that I bought it has the same color and it just it looks it really looks really cute together they're not obviously a great quality they're extremely thin I will tell you that um, and I have noticed because I have worn them several times that if I'm going to do be doing a major amount of walking these are definitely not very good shoes to wear um, because they're so thin, you kind of tend to feel it really a lot, especially because I guess because I'm getting older, I don't know, you know, you feel things more, right? Um, so anyway, I would definitely not suggest these for major walking, but if you're not going to be walking a lot, these are just so cute. And for that price, I mean, seriously, you could get one of just like every color. And I just think they're cute. They're kind of like old school Keds, you know? I mean, did you guys wear Keds when you were little? I think they still, Keds are still around. Um, but you know, kids were such a big thing when I was in what, like middle school? Anyway, last but not least, one of my favorite items that I found at Walmart were these super cute over the knee boots. They're kind of like this um, suede type of material and what I really, really liked about them was the fact that as you can see, the heel on these is not very um, tall. I do not like to wear really tall boots. My husband is very, not very much taller than me. I've probably said this before. I just 
feel kind of uncomfortable. I just feel like I'm just like way too tall when I have like um, high heeled boots or shoes on. I still wear them sometimes, but like I said, if I can find something that's cute and has the smaller heel on it, then that is definitely my go-to. Um, but I have been looking for a pair of these. I love these. They're very comfortable. They're very easy to put on. They're just a really thin um, material. They have this cute little lace up detailing in the very back. Like I said, they do go over your knees. Um, they look really cute with skinny jeans. To be honest with you guys, I think I actually accidentally got rid of the tag on these. I cannot specifically exactly remember the price of them, but I am like 95% sure that they were under $20. I think they were actually right around that $20 mark. Um, so anyway, I just think they are so cute. Love these, probably one of my favorite finds. Okay, so I'm gonna show you now how I styled all of these items. So much for watching me model <laughs> my Walmart clothing finds. Um, I just feel so silly a lot of times when I do these um, do these little modeling sessions. But I know that you guys like to just not only see what I purchase, but you actually like to see it on. I know it gives ideas. I know I like it when I watch a video where they show you um, how they paired it and weared it. Anyway, so. Um, I don't know. It's, it's kind of fun, but I do feel so goofy. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a big thumbs up. If so, make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel so that you can become a part of my awesome YouTube tribe family. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed day. Bye.